Hey folks, thanks for tuning back into the Colonial Airstream YouTube channel. Joe Welch is here with another service tech tip video. Today we're going to be talking about solar power, turning the sunlight into energy. Today we're going to go over the basics of solar power and how it works with your Airstream. Whether you've already harnessed the sun or you're considering doing so, the more you know about your Airstream solar capabilities, the more benefit you can reap from them. Ready? Let's check this out. Behind me we have a beautiful Airstream Interstate and over here we've got a 22 foot caravel. Both are equipped with a roof mounted solar system. Um, when you're looking at these Airstreams specifically, the travel trailers come pre-wired to support up to three roof mounted solar panels. Travel trailers ranging from 16 foot to 23 feet get the option to add a 90 watt solar package, one panel, um, and then 25 to 30 foot models can get 180 watts installed, two panels. And Top of the line models like the Classic and the Pottery Barn come standard with 270 watts, three panels of solar power. However, you can add additional panels using aftermarket parts depending on the amount of available roof space on your unit. The Interstate 24 and the Atlas Touring Coaches are delivered with 400 watts of solar power. There are 300 watts feeding power to the house batteries and a separate dedicated 100 watt solar panel for the chassis battery. The Interstate 19 includes 250 watts of solar on the roof. So how do solar panels work? Let's start by breaking down the main components of an RV solar system and what they do. Typically your RV will have solar panels, a solar controller, and batteries. A solar panel is made up of individual solar cells, small devices that can convert the sunlight to energy. Solar panels convert the sun's energy into direct current, DC, electricity, and this charges your RV's battery, storing the electricity. A solar charge controller protects the batteries from being overcharged by disconnecting the solar power feed when it senses that they've fully charged. The controller reconnects the system when your battery levels have dropped enough to accept more current. AGM batteries, and these batteries store electricity as DC current power, which can handle many tasks, such as keeping the lights on, running your ventilation fans, or charging up any of those USB power devices. For bigger chores, like running your air conditioning, or using appliances with motors or heating elements, you're going to need to use your AC alternating current power from your shirt cord. Taking a look inside, this Airstream is equipped with a Victron energy system. This is part of the controller portion that we just went over. This panel displays all the vital information gathered by the controller. When you're using the panel, you can see here that it's pretty simple to set up. Use your up and down arrows to go between your screen options and set up and select is going to get you into a variety of more in-depth settings. If I push down, the first screen we're going to is our amperage. This is going to tell you how many amps the batteries are using. The next screen we go to hitting down is your voltage. This is the current battery voltage that the trailer is using. Hit it again and the next screen is going to display your panel wattage. This is going to tell you how many watts the panels are putting out. By continuing along, we're going to get to our kilowatts per hour, showing us the total kilowatts per hour charge provided by our panels. The Victron system is a fantastic solar and battery controller system. Before we end this video, I want to thank the viewers for supporting this channel. By sharing and liking our videos, you have helped those in need find information that they maybe didn't think was out there. And if you found this video helpful or you have any questions, please leave us a comment below or reach out to us at colonialairstream.com. And our phone number is 800-265-9019. My name is Joe Welches, and I hope to see you all again in another Colonial Service Tip video.